So what is a sacrifice? Um, a sacrifice is when you give up something okay. for yeah. someone else. And if you get it back, does that mean it's still a sacrifice? Uh, but in, in what sense do you mean? So let's say that if I want to sacrifice my time or let's say an object for a person, let's say money, for someone to better their life, mm -hmm. and I get that money back, that's from the same person, is that a sacrifice? Well, yeah. are you talking about Jesus and he yeah. gave up his life and he got it back? Yeah. That's not the, that's not the real sacrifice going well, on there though. Well, hold on. So, if you receive something back, then it must never be a sacrifice because if I know that I will come back, then no, there's, it's no, there's, sacrifice. there's no need to be afraid or do whatever. If I, I know I will come back, then there is Hold no on. sacrifice. I, I sacrifice, I have three children. I sacrifice a lot for them. Like now what? <laughs> like my time, right like, like my energy, like my uh, money, and like my entire life and goes into these kids. Get this time future. Now, I didn't so, say all yours, I said, you said all the people all, that would enter people. into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, let, just say I said that he would take on all the sins of everybody. There's people going to go to hell. But he Very can't, clearly. He Hold on. Jesus on. said, no, no, I didn't say that though. You're, you're telling you me, all. okay, you need to stop. I'm telling you now, you need to stop. You're telling me I said something that I didn't, and I was very clear not to say what you're saying. So what is a sacrifice? I don't, uh, actually, it's not technically co correct to call it a sacrifice. Well, you you can't say that. You cannot say that. I can say whatever I want because I'm on my microphone, so I can say whatever I want. Sacrifice. Oh, really? Show me the verse. What verse? I don't know that about Mary. Oh, then I how do you know? How do you know the Bible says it's sacrifice? And you yourself. How do you know the Bible? Second Timothy. Say. Uh, hey, in Timothy it says it, he made a propitiation. So my word is in there. You, you show me your verse where it says it calls it a sacrifice. I'll bring my Bible next time. Oh, we got one right here. It'll take me some time. All right. Well, the point is, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's not possible. But when you throw out, that's what it definitely says. You better have a verse. Okay. Hey, there's Google. Technically, you people use different it. words. Sometimes we quick. use shortcuts, okay? We say, uh, I got saved. But when the Bible talks about being saved, it's the whole process. It's the regeneration, being brought from death to life. Then it's the sanctification. And then it's the glorification, which is the resurrection. But we take shortcuts, especially in California, because we're lazy. So if you use the word sacrifice, then you need to ask him, what does he mean by it? And let him explain, instead of telling him what he means by it, okay? The Bible talks about a propitiation, and what that word means is, is when somebody stands in your place, when you're guilty of a crime and you're going to be punished to death, and someone stands in your place, and that's... So, if I put, I would say, if I put someone, another person, and I tell them, you take my sins, then I should be vindicated for my sins. No, because you're starting from, you're starting from fallen humanity. Christ was not, a, did, did not have sin. You have God. That's why Christ had to be God. The Jehovah Witnesses are full of crap because they think that Jesus is only a human being. Well, Jesus, if he was only a human being, it's just another Jew who died on a cross, just like lots of other Jews that the Romans put to death. It's the fact that Christ was the very Son of God, that he had, that he was God himself, that he died and made propitiation for your sin. You can't do that, sir, because you have your own sin. The fact that she has her own sin, she cannot propitiate for yours. She has to be sinless. And for her to propitiate for more than one person, she would have to be God. She, see, the, the point of the sacrifice, or if you want to call it sacrifice, I call it propitiation, the Bible does. The point of it is not the fact that Jesus died on the cross. That's what Mel Gibson got wrong, okay? It's not the suffering. See, Catholics have this thing called the passion, which the word means suffering. That's what the word passion means. And in fact, when you have passion in a relationship, there's a lot of suffering too, but anyways, that's a sidebar. Um, the suffering is not what paid for your sins. It is the worth of the lamb that was slain. It was the fact that it was the very son of God who was sinless, who committed no evil, had no sin, was beat up, killed, massacred for your sake. It's the worth of the lamb, not the act itself. So then and you don't have that worth, and she doesn't have that worth either. You're probably a wonderful person, but you're not worth what Christ is. So... Jesus was left. Literally, are you taking this as a metaphorical? I, I, it's a, you know, it's sir, a symbol. So, then, it, so you said that Jesus was the lamb. You say it's symbolism, whatever you want. A lamb's still an animal. If, you, so if you're saying an animal's a symbol of Jesus, 
then Jesus is also, you're also saying, must be below me. Because you yourself said, or what the other person said earlier that, if, it, if you kill a spider or any animal, it's okay. But if you kill a person, that's not okay. Okay, so, then I'm going to answer your question. You already gave me your question, or your comment, and I'm going to answer you. In the Bible, there are things, that, in any type of literature, there are things that are called types, typologies. Okay? The lamb, the animals, were types of the propitiation that was going to be made. Those were sacrifices to cover sin. Christ was a propitiation, which means he stood in your place and, and took your sin and actually did away with it. The lamb never did away with your sin. It never did it. it was you said the lamb never gets washes, never washed away your, your sin. So, by the, the animal, that's, then they shouldn't have called him the lamb. If you say the lamb never got rid of All his right, sin. I'm going to move on. No, I'm going to move on because I already explained that. I already explained it. I don't need to explain it six times. So we're here tonight to preach the gospel to people. And this is what the gospel is. The gospel is that because of Adam's fall. Yeah, I am, sir. Because the reason why. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'll send you a thing. Feel close to Allowing all the arguments to be spoken. Why, why, why do I have to? If you Why don't you ask me? If you want to make it fair, you have to let. I don't want to make it fair. Finish. I don't want to make it fair. Then obviously that you're showing that as a Christian, you're not being fair to the, all the voices. Have you read the scriptures? It doesn't matter. Because how can you tell me what a Christian it is if you don't know? All right. Anyways, the reason why we're here tonight, you can keep talking all night, that's why I have a microphone, is we're here to preach the gospel. And the gospel is this, that man fell into sin. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. And now he's calling him a name from which I have never called him a baby or a Put the cameras on him. Put the cameras on him. And now he's calling me names. So you tell me. If God doesn't He's exist, why are you so upset? Speaking. Huh? Why are you so upset if God doesn't exist? Why don't you just say your peace and move on? Let other people talk. Because I don't like it when people like you, who people like me, who believe, we're going down the road, who now. believe, <laughs> who have taught themselves to go these obstacles in their head to make themselves believe that what they actually read are true. Now, if I said people like you in certain communities, that would be considered a derogatory phrase. So he's he's hanging, his, he's hanging himself. Go ahead, Because sir. I do honestly believe that, you know, all religions aren't true. There are stories just like Greek mythology. The reason why we accept Greek mythology to be false is that when we climbed Mount Olympus, there were no gods. When we went to the, to the space and we saw the earth, there was no atlas holding up the earth. And when Christ, what? And when what? Christ what? resurrected what? from the dead, there were over 500 witnesses. What? And the manuscript evidence of the Bible surpasses all of that of any writing in antiquity. In fact, did you know Socrates? We have zero manuscripts. Zero. But he doesn't doubt the existence of Socrates. All we have is writings of other people about Socrates. Uh, for example, does he have any photographs or testimony from anybody that knew George Washington? Has he ever talked to any, has he read it? All those people are dead. So how do we know George Washington existed? See, the problem is he thinks that Christianity, because of the people that are on TVN and, and networks like that that are a travesty to the faith, he thinks that we just believe in, the, in just the supernatural, that there is no historical, archaeological, genealogical, that there's any kind of literary history to this whole thing. There's nothing behind it at all. But see, the problem is he hasn't checked any of that out. He's just coming out here on the Third Street Promenade thinking that he's an expert, and he's not. That, yes, sir. Is that dude leaving? I, I, I didn't uh, catch the whole conversation, but uh, this was dealt with a couple weeks ago. Basically defining what it is you mean by sacrifice. Oh, that wasn't sacrificial. Who's to say it's not a subjective thing? It's an objective well, yeah. standard that was met of shedding of blood, which was the the sacrifice, and that was met. And so, whether you think it's sacrificial or not is irrelevant to the case. Not to mention the fact that you know the torture he went through was pretty. Uh, yeah. Well, brutal, any kind of know? sacrifice that I do is very incomplete and very fallen and very poor compared to the sacrifice that Christ did on the cross, and they cannot be really compared.